Hey, welcome back to my channel. Satish Gear here from Dallas, Texas. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about how can you get first class and business class you know, tickets every single time without paying for one, okay? I'm going to show you how I do it every single time, but you have to promise me one thing, okay? If you enjoy this content at the end of this video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe so I can bring more content like this on your YouTube homepage, okay? That's the deal. Let's go ahead and talk about how can you get a free upgrade to business or first class every single time? Now, step number one, okay? Step number one is whenever you're headed for the airport, if you want to get on the first class and business class, you have to have that dress part, okay? What does that mean, okay? Number one, I would avoid shorts. Number two, okay, let's go back. When I say dress the part, I'm not asking you to like, you know, get a Gucci belt or I have like a Walmart belt, guys. Uh, not a Gucci belt or Louis Vuitton, whatever, or Lululemon stuff, none of that, okay? Simple stuff, classic things. Okay, for example, I don't know about girls, but as a guy, normal pants, shirt is fine, okay? You don't need anything class, you know, some crazy stuff, okay? Number one, dress the part, okay? And number two, okay? Number two is have a budget. Now, when I say have a budget, here's the deal, okay? You will most likely pay some amount of money. For example, let's say from here, from Dallas to uh, Dubai, right? it's about $8,000 if you wanna go ahead and get that first class right now from kayak.com. But I'm gonna show you how to do get that same ticket, same seat for like a couple hundred bucks, okay? That's almost free, right? Sometimes you will get it for 100% free, but you have to follow these instructions, okay? So number two is have a budget. For example, okay, you're flying from Dallas to Dubai, so would you be okay paying $500 or $600 for me, okay? For me, personally me, let's say I'm going to Nepal, right? And we have a, we have a transit at Dubai from Dallas, right? But I am okay with paying $700 extra because I'll be traveling for 16 hours, you know, and I'm okay with paying $700 on top of my economy fee. That's my budget on my mind, okay? That was number two. So make sure you have some sort of budget that you're okay with paying, okay? Now, number three, you get to the airport, right? You know where you go ahead and give out your uh, baggage, the check-in, right? At that time, I want you to be nice to that person, whoever, gentleman, lady, whoever is there, be nice to them. They're having, you know, a rough day every single day. People are yelling at them. They're, you know, saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. They're having, a, you know, a, a rush day, okay? I don't want to say stressful day. They're having a rush day every single time. And when you get there, you're going to be, hi, how are you? You know, you're, it's, if, if, it's a, if you're a guy and if you're comfortable doing it, say, looking pretty today. That's it, okay? People think, you know, flattery doesn't work. It does work. Just say, you're looking pretty today. Or if it's a guy, even if he, if he, even if he looks bald, even if he doesn't look good, say, sir, you smell so good. What perfume is that? You have to make sure to say something to get too personal. Why would they give you a free ticket if you're like average or if you're like everybody else? You wouldn't, right? So say something to them once you get there. Now, when they're checking you in, you're going to say these words. You're going to say, can you upgrade me? And you're going to smile. Pause after that. You're going to say, can you upgrade me, please? You're going to smile just like this, okay? And you're going to get two answers, okay? Usually, sometimes they'll say, sure. They'll give you an upgrade. That, ha that has happened to me many, many times, domestic and international. But like I said, I've been doing it so many times that I know how to pull that trigger, okay? So they'll say, yes, they'll give it to you. Number two, they'll say, oh, no, 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 there's no free upgrade. And then you're going to say, you're going to say this, repeat after, you're going to say, when they say, no, 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 there's no free upgrade, you're going to say, sorry, I wanted to pay for it. See how, what, see how I switched it around. You're going to say, sorry, I wanted to pay for it. Now, oh, okay. Then they're going to look, they're going to check on the computer, they're going to say, oh, it's going to be about $800, okay? And now you're thinking, usually it, it's $8,000, now it's $800 now. If, you, if that budget, remember number two, if, you, if that price is under your budget, go ahead and buy. Don't think twice, okay, please, okay? Because a lot of people, what they do is they find a ticket under their budget and they're like, oh, you know, I could have uh, gotten it cheaper. No, if it's under your budget, grab it. Okay? You're, you're going to be flying for like eight, you know, 15, 16 hours. It's worth the money, guys, okay? So go ahead and get it. Now, since our budget was 700, well, I'm going to say no, I'm... I'm okay. Usually, if I was me, I would say, okay, because it's 100 bucks, right? I don't want to lose that seat. But for this situation, let's go ahead and think, I'm going to say, no, thank you. 
I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna check in my baggage, I'm gonna go inside the airport, I'm gonna go through security, and, and then I'm gonna go to the boarding gate, right? Now, at the boarding gate, just before, this is, I think this is part number, of step number four. At the boarding gate, in a boarding gate, what you're gonna do is, again, at the kiosk, the same thing again, okay? Say something nice, and then say, hey, uh, can I get an upgrade, please? Most of the times, what's gonna happen is this, okay? So a lot of people who fly frequently, for example, if they have some miles or things like that, they're on priority to get a free upgrade. So that might not be you, okay? Sometimes you'll get it, okay? So most of the time, what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, oh, are you uh, our you know, exclusive member, okay? Or they're gonna say, hey, no, you know, we have, a, we have you know, a, a priority list that people go through, right? They're gonna say, no, I wanna pay for it. Now, at this point, okay, if you want to pay for it, you are the number one guy on the line because it's better for them to take cup in a couple hundred bucks because they already have the food for that seat in the plane already, right? They're flying, the plane's flying no matter what. At this time, it's better for them to take you in. That's in their best favor, even if it's a little bit of money, okay? Now, at that time, the price will be the cheapest, but here's the bad part, okay? Usually what I do is if the amount that they coded me at the check-in, if it's like a couple hundred dollars here and there, I take it because I don't wanna take my chances because at the boarding gate, chances of you getting that business class, first class is super, super low. It gets, you know, it, it's lower. But if you do the same thing at the check-in gate, you might actually get it, okay? So that was it. If you try this method, and if it works out, even if it doesn't work out, come back and please let me know. Now, last but not least, if you enjoy this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more stuff like this on your YouTube homepage. Again, subscribe. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day ahead.